I was fine this morning until I ran into this woman. You will not believe what a good dude found to get himself into with this particular individual. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Salada Collier and Carvel Baker. The two of you have been uh, together for some time, and you are trying to, dis you, two years, you've been engaged for seven months, but you're not quite sure this is what you want to do, so you've come to me to allow me to do one of my favorite things, which is a before your vows. You took a compatibility test, which I have the results to. I have your license, which you've given me permission to tear up should I think this union is not a good idea. So what I'm going to do is start with you, Ms. Collier. Why don't you tell me why you're considering marriage, but you're not altogether sure it's something you ought to do? Your Honor, Carvel is cheap. <laughs> he is super cheap, Your Honor. He bought me this flimsy ring. I believe it came from the beauty supply store. No, it didn't. <laughs> your, your Honor, I want to Let me see the ring. Do we have a... Can you, I, I want can I, Do I we have a picture of the ring? I want to marry my dog with this ring, Your Honor. What? I paid good money for that thing. Your That's Honor. That's not bad. I, Your Honor, I want... No. No. Mm -mm. I need no. something better than that. No. Ain't no. that something. Ms. Mr. Baker, are you cheap? No. But you I can not be... Hang I on. To, I have to make sure that I, that I have money to live on. I right. can't just go out and splurge on a ring that... It's only an engagement ring. We're going to step it up. It's only... You're going to step it up as time goes yeah, on. We'll you're going to up upgrade. When, when we get married, we're going to have a nice rock. At least a carrot and a half. At least well, a carrot and a half. You heard that. At look, least no, a carrot and a no, half. At least a carrot and a half. It's looking very slim to none right now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> slim to none. <laughs> oh, Lord. Other than the fact that Mr. Mr. Baker is, is, is frugal, what are your concerns with respect to him? Other than because... the fact that he's cheap and you don't like that ring. <laughs> He's overbearing. Overbearing? Honor. He's kind of possessive. You need guidance. No, I'm a grown woman. No. You need I, my, my, my parents raised me. My yeah. parents raised me. I'm not about to be in no marriage. Give me an and... example of, of, of something that he's done that you find controlling or overbearing. Um, overbearing? He, like, I'm in a motorcycle club and. He... Really? Yes. <laughs> and yeah. nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying it's an unusual and... thing. He kind of tried to control, like, my friends, like, which one I hang with on Monday or the mm -hmm. one I hang with on Tuesday. No, See? I... See? Monday and Tuesday. Now, Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> but I don't, right. I don't say nothing about when it's Sunday night football or Monday night football or something like that, and him and the fellas is at the house chilling. Chilling. Right. I don't say nothing about that. At least I'm Now, Mr. Home. Baker, are you concerned that she's in a motorcycle club? I don't like the motorcycle club environment. It's just wild, rambunctious. She goes and gets it's drunk. Stay How out often all does she of go out and get drunk? About four, like four to five nights out the week. Four to Probably five about nights a week. Two to three. No, two that's or not three? True. About four to five. Two or three. Two. Drinkers minimize, so it's four to five. Oh, <laughs> uh, I max. I max. See? I max out. You two max out? Three. Yeah. You max out. Now, I gotta ask. I'm, 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 I'm totally honest, Your Honor. Yeah, and now, now, let me ask this, Ms. Cotton. And I gotta, gotta say, You've got... You've been married before. Yes. And you've got children from two, six of them, to 18. I didn't get out the house for a good 20 years after my first kid was born. Mm -hmm. How do you get out three to four times a week? Um, that's when we had babysitters and uh, uh, Mr. Mom. See? That now stays you want me home. to stay at home. Don't you do the, the homework day. and the yes, extracurricular yes. The and the, and the baseball games? You don't do all that? Yes. I know football is on the weekend. <laughs> football is on the weekend. And biker club don't open up to 2 o'clock in the morning. 2 o'clock. Supposed to be home in the bed. So you leave at 2 in the morning? No, I leave about 11. You leave, So the kids are asleep? Yes. So you got a whole separate nightlife going yeah, on? Yeah, that's my me time. Your me time from 11 p.m. Yeah. to... Uh, Five, time to go to six, school. Kids seven. go to school. I got and when do you if, I go, if I go home after I leave the bar, after I leave the club, and I fall asleep, kids are going to miss school. No, we need perfect attendance. So I stay up, make so sure they get So you make sure you get yes. home from the motorcycle club. And get the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches together and send them off. I do. Yeah. You do all yeah, of that? Do, I he, do the most. He yeah. does that? Yes. Yeah. Well, what do you do? I cook. Hang out. 
You cook? Yes. You working? Yes. When do you sleep? <laughs> See, that's the thing. I, I sleep when I die. <laughs> It's you no, don't need it's much no sleep. moment in my life. It's not a dull moment. Only time it's a dull moment is when I sleep. Turn and it up. It's like a, Turn up. Yeah, it's Turn only a nap. Turn up. Now, Mr. Baker, I would ask you what, what concerns you have about her, but we already know. Yeah. Uh, she's out and about, and you think she needs supervision. She needs some guidance. She needs some guidance. And what you need? That being you. said, is it not the fact that she is the life of the party, Part of the reason why you like her to begin with, because she's big and bold and bad and beautiful and, and bouncy and, 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 and got a lot of bravado going on. I don't, I can't find any more bees, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what drew me to her, you know? Your Honor, that's what really drew me to her. I met her, met her at the grocery store. I heard her laughing. I turned around and I seen her. I'm like, whoa. Then I'm looking at her. I'm like, Hey, how you doing? She said, I'm fine. <laughs> I said, yes, you are. I walked up to her and I said, uh, you know, what's your name? She told me Salada, shook her hand. I said, I'm Carvel, nice to meet you. I asked her, could we go out? Could I get her number, maybe we take her out to dinner? She said, yeah. We kicked it, talked on the phone a few times, took her out, went to parks, had a few walks and talks, drinks and things like her favorite thing. That's to how do. he want, that's how he reeled me <laughs> in. But, uh, you he know, reeled you in yeah. real slow, did you? Yeah, yeah I real slow. And everything, you know? Mm. So? Oh, did he yeah. really? Yeah. But times have changed. <laughs> These are the signs of times. What's that supposed to mean? Now, did you it's guys move like... in together, or are you two still living separately? We're still living separate. Now, if we was living together, Your Honor, don't get me wrong, I think, I believe, I would probably wouldn't hang out as much. I'm not gonna stop, but not as much. Not as much. <laughs> well, do you ever go and kick it with him? Yeah, sometimes. When I can find time. See what I'm saying? What did you do? You don't sound very enthusiastic about it. I must because say. Duty calls. Huh? I, I'm, duty calls. I have to make it to the club. I have to do my clean Duty calls. Uh, I have to make it to the club. How the club going to be more important than your relationship or your family? Okay, what about, what about your sports? What? I'm your, your sports. watching sports. What? I'm yeah, not gone. Well, no attention. If them sports are on, no attention. Nothing happening. You can't, mm, can't, can't. Nothing. Like blinders just, on. Just make just them some the wings or yeah, you get them a beer or something and chill, chill on out. out. Yeah, mm. that's, that's chill pretty chill how much y'all work. Your Honor, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> that, not that, nobody's maid. I hear what you're saying. No. I do. What is the most outrageous thing you believe that she's done in the context of her partying and carrying on? I believe she cheated on me, for one. Does he have anything to fear in, in regards to you cheating on him? You say that her nickname is Trouble and yeah. that she is very flirtatious. Why don't you explain both of those things to me? Whoa. Look at her. She's beautiful. She loves attention, though. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she gets the wrong attention. We can go to the club, her club. Seems like I get disrespected. Is it men and women or is it a bunch of women on bikes? What's, how's that no, work? It's men it's and both. women. It's men and women. Do you have jackets? Yes. And what do you guys drive from club to club or what? Yeah, I just, yeah, sometimes. It all depends on the day of the week if we have a mandatory or something like that at a different club. A mandatory? What is yeah. a mandatory? You must go. You must be there. That's her duty. If call. you don't go to mandatory, do they kick you out of the club? Um, you get a fine. You get a fine, yeah. You get a fine. Seriously? Yeah. they doing the most. It's not enough. Well, that's why I make it my duty to be there. Now, now Mr. Baker, let me talk to you for a moment. Um, what is the most outrageous thing you believe that she's done in the context of her partying and carrying on? Give me something that would outrage me. I believe, uh, I believe she's cheating on me, for one. She don't come home. By the time you get home, you're drunk, you're smelling like smoke, you're smelling like liquor. There's a lot of been going on. Our, our sex life isn't the same anymore. It's been dropped off since we ain't got proposed, since I ain't got engaged to her. You know, we don't even make love. Uh, it's like a whole lot of things that she don't see that I see. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't, you're not at home to raise the kids. The kids running around, you know, I try to do my best to chastise them, but I'm not their father yet. 
I'm just a stepfather. I'm not even that yet. That yet, yeah. You right. just, just so I don't want to overstep the, the, my boundaries. You know, Miss Collie, would you? Some very legitimate concerns on his part. Does he have anything to fear in in regards to you cheating on him? Yes, Your Honor. I don't know what she's doing. See what I'm saying? She said yes. I don't know what she's doing. Are she could you? be with man or woman. It Are don't you? matter. Yes, Your Honor. Did you know? No, I didn't know. How could you do this? Who are you cheating on him with? How could you do this? Hmm. Is, it a, is it a motorcycle club yes. member? Yes, Your Honor. See, I told you, if you ain't want to be monogamous, we don't need to be... <sighs> We don't need to be doing this. Lord. Let me ask that's you this. Point. No, that's no, no, you're point. engaged to this guy. You're engaged to him. You're saying, right. I want to live together with you forever. How do you reconcile that with messing with some other... Is it a woman or a dude? It's a man. It's a dude. Okay. <sighs> Explain that to me. He fell off. Oh. How did he fall off? He stopped bringing the flowers. He stopped making the dinners. Oh. Everything started... Cutting back. What you stop doing? That's when I start hanging in the streets more. You like, was already doing that. Do you I mean, understand? Just... Let, me, let me ask you this, Ms. Collie. Do you understand that courting is courting and flowers and all that kind of stuff? That's what happens in the beginning. But you, as the relationship progresses, that stuff drops off. But a sense of commitment and love and desire fulfilled more important needs get fed as opposed to showing up with some tulips. Yeah. Do you feel like she's a woman, if you two were living in a house together, that you would like to have your children around and who you would like to have your children emulate? Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Don't forget to join the conversation on social media. Go to facebook.com slash divorcecourt and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at divorcecourt. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Do you think you have the capacity to do right by this man? Yes, I do. And what, why do you believe that? Because so far, what you showed me in here is a very self-involved, selfish person who wants a whole lot given to her and, not, and is not looking to give anything in return. So disabuse me of that notion. <laughs> Explain to me where I'm wrong. Well, you are in certain areas. But I, I have the... I, I love Carvel. I really do. But you sleeping with another dude. It was a mistake. Oh, Lord. It only happened twice. Three times is... is it's a problem. <laughs> Three times is a problem. <laughs> That's a new rule. <laughs> a mistake. So, in the okay, book of cheating, there's a, th there's a, there's a two-time and, and, and quit-it rule. So you can hit it and quit it. You can hit it and hit it and then quit it. Then it's okay. <laughs> now, if I was to do that, what would you say? I wouldn't like it at all. It'll... Then why do it to me? I apologize, Carvel. I seriously, honestly do. Well, let me ask you this, Ms. Collins. What do you love about him? I want you to give me a 90-second sales job because I'm about to kick you out right now because I'm mad at you. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> to buy this man a plane ticket, help him pack his suitcases so he can just zoom right on out of here. So you give me 90 seconds why I just shouldn't tell him to cut and run right now. Because I love him. We, we have a lot invested. My children love him. He loves my children. I can see us making it. I really do. So in other words... He's willing to I sign say... on to be stepfather, so you like that, and it's cool, and he does what he needs for me while I can do what I need for myself, and uh, if I can get a brother to do that, well, why not keep him? Basically, that's just what you told me. That's what I feel like I'm being used. 
feel like I'm that. not using them. I huh? feel like I'm being I'm not, used. I'm not using you. I really do. And you know I love you. Yeah, you know I do. You know. Mr. Baker, you have several kids from a previous marriage, correct? Yes, I do. Do you see them regularly? Yes. Does she engage with your children at all? Yes. Does she do so in an appropriate manner? Are you comfortable with it? Do you feel like she's a woman, if you two were living in a house together, that you would like to have your children around and who you would like to have your children emulate? Yeah, but I, that's what, what I'm trying to get to this point. I would like for her to be able to buckle down and be a more respectful woman. You know, go to church more. You know, let's, let's be together. Don't just be running around here in these streets because that's not nothing. That's not going to get us where we need to be as a union. One plus one. Together, I don't know what you're going to do. I love my kids, and I want my kids to be to learn, learn to love the woman that I'm with so they can have respect for her, and she got to show them respect, too. But they're not going to respect you if you out hanging out all night. They wake up what in the morning, know, you gone. Won't hurt them. They be asleep. They wake up in the middle all, of the night, you gone. First of all, don't say oh, what Lord. they don't know won't hurt them. When you come in and you've been drinking, they know. They know when you're not home. They know when you're not at there extra. When, when you've been drinking and running around all night, you don't have enough sleep. You're not fully, fully there. You're not fully engaged. You're not fully cognizant. You're just kind of, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, when you need to be a parent, that's a full-on activity. You got to come every day is game day. Every day you got to be the baddest parent in town. Every day, cause, because the world is a mess. Yes, it is. It is a mess, and these people have got to be prepared. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And if you have hung over, running around, doing whatever, you're not the baddest parent you could be. You just a chick that showed up, got him wow. off to school. I wish you was her mother. Be a part of the Divorce Court conversation on social media. People always have something to say. We put new clips on Instagram every week. You, him, and a sugar daddy all lived in one house? Yes. Can't make this stuff up. <laughs> you can follow us on Facebook and check out our Twitter feed. You can also use the resources on our new website, divorcecourt.com. Mr. Baker, you are a good man. Thank you. You are what I call a toner brother. Toner is a very old school term for the ink that we have to use in our, our fax machine or our, our printer. And we always have to get more when men like you show up because there are women that introduce me to Mr. Baker. Here's my phone number. Here's my address. Here's my... And we're going to get a whole lot of mail on you. Right. Uh, I think you like her. I think you're going to stay with her. But let me tell you this. You need to make her work to be worthy of you. And until she is, don't you give her anything. If she thinks that ring is cheap, her ring is as cheap as her behavior. Right. And don't good dude yourself into a relationship in which you introduce into your children's lives a woman who is not worthy to be around them. I want you to really to step back and think about it. I know she's fun and I know she's a good time, but parenting and blending a family is a very difficult thing to do. And you have got to be not on deck. You can't be in the hole. You got to be at bat all day, all of the time. And I just don't see that coming from her. Now, I've already told you about the plane ticket and I'm gonna tell you, I'm telling this, I, no, sit. If I had a match, <laughs> I, would, I would burn that, that sucker up. See? You know what I'm Miss Collier, become that woman this man deserves. Become a woman that deserves a ring that doesn't come out of Cracker Jack box. Because you have Cracker Jack behavior. This matter is adjourned. Thank you, Jill. As you can see, I am angry. Children have a hard enough time these days with all of the negative influences out there, with social media, stuff going on in the street, people shooting, killing, and carrying on, and this woman is out at the club. You cannot be a part-time parent and have kids that are gonna turn out to be anything worth bragging about. <laughs>